Today on Classic TV The Six Million Dollar Man Welcome to a new episode of Classic TV, which gives a short introduction to classic TV shows with trailers, pictures and theme music, when YouTube copyright allows us to play it, that is. If you like the show, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the like button. If he can't be the man he was. What if he could be more than the man he was? We have the technology to rebuild him. I want it done no matter what the cost. The Six Million Dollar Man is an American science fiction and action television series based on Martin Caden's novel Cyborg from 1972, which was also the working title of the series during pre-production. Lee Major plays Steve Austin in this 1974 TV show and he was my first action hero before the likes of Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Chuck Norris. When NASA astronaut Colonel Steve Austin is severely injured in the crash of an experimental lifting body aircraft, he is rebuilt in an operation that costs six million dollars. His right arm, both legs and left eye are replaced with bionic implants which gives him superhuman strength, speed and vision. He is employed as a secret agent by a fictional US government office titled OSI. Following three television films intended as pilots, which all aired in 1973, the Six Million Dollar Man television series aired on the ABC network as a regular episodic series for five seasons from 1974 to 1978. Steve Austin became a pop culture icon of the 1970s. Several merchandise was produced and I remember having lots of fun playing with my Steve Austin action man. There was also a spin-off television series, The Bionic Woman, featuring the lead female character Jamie Summers, and that ran from 1976 to 1978. Three television movies featuring both Bionic characters were also produced from 1987 to 1994. It was The Return of the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman in 1987, and then Bionic Showdown, The Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman in 1989, which featured Sandra Bullock in an early role as a new Bionic Woman. And last but not least, Bionic Ever After in 1994, in which Austin and Summers finally marry. Fast was I going? Well, not bad for an amateur. About 35. Oh, is that all? The different series about the Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman can easily be found on DVDs and Blu-ray. I hope you enjoy the series as much as I do. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.